Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you on a board um, the same thing I just showed you uh, in a previous video of how to hook up your snap switch. Okay, so initially what you're going to do is this is your fan, okay, and you got two leads coming off your fan, and this is an AC fan to start with. We'll do what we did on, on the actual video, okay. Now, here's your snap switch, put in your line. And like I say, this is AC switch or a DC switch. It doesn't care what uh, what kind of current is going through it. Okay. <clears throat> now this is your uh, this will go to your outlet that goes your thing that goes into your outlet right there. Okay. This is your AC outlet. All right. Now out of your plug, it's going to go back into the opposite side. And it doesn't matter what side you hook it into. It doesn't matter. It's just it's just a switch in between the, the cords there. Okay. And you'll hook up those two sides there. And that will be activated with heat. Okay. That once that uh, once your AC goes through, all it's initially doing is opening the switch and creating current that actually turns your fan on. Okay. Just like that. That's all it's doing. Now this is for an AC fan, okay? That would be either this small box fan like what we have, or it'll be an inline fan, which is actually what we had, um, which I'll show you here and show you how to hook that up too, okay? Now, if, let's say by chance, this is what I'm going to do, is you have a solar panel, okay? And this is actually run off the sun, which everybody knows, okay? Just so people just don't know. Uh, and it actually has two uh, leads coming off it. Now your solar panels, without anything connected to it, just your solar panels are DC. Okay, that's direct current. Now, in order to make a regular blower fan or an inline fan work, okay, you will need what they call an inverter. Okay, when it comes in the inverter, it's uh, DC, and when it actually comes out of the front side of your inverter which will be AC 110 to 120 okay volts now when you uh, after you, you hook all that up and you're gonna do the exact same thing you're gonna put your snap switch in there okay you have your leads coming off your fan and your leads going to, to the other side of your fan to your inverter and the other one going into your switch okay now it's gonna work exactly the same way when this reaches 110 it's going to open the it's going to open it up and it's going to run the fan and when it reaches 90 when it drops below 90 from 90 down it's going to sh uh, stop the fan okay now it's pretty simple uh, one is you're just running uh, the solar panel which is DC and the reason why you're going to do that is if um, you can you can put a solar panel out there anywhere uh, and it actually will it will be uh, will take care of itself. You don't have to have any uh, you don't have to run any wires or anything to it. It's all self-contained, okay? Um, and the same way it is with the AC. If you don't have you take all this out and you actually plug it in, this is actually going to be running off your house current, okay? But if you don't want to run off your house current, uh, initially what we're going to do is we're going to hook it up to the house at first until I get a solar panel and then we're going to hook it up to the solar panel and I want to do another short video to show you exactly how all that works um, if you have any questions uh, just let me know uh, it's it's pretty simple I hope this has helped some people out I know I had a couple of people ask me about it um, but that's that's pretty much it uh, and the snap switches I, I think I only paid eight dollars for it off eBay uh, and like I say, it, it comes uh, it comes on. Okay, it closes the current at 110. Okay, and opens it, uh, which stops it. When it opens, it stops the current. When it opens and closes, that's how you get your current through there. Okay. Uh, if there's any questions, and this I'll show you another. I'll show you again uh, what the actual number is for the switch, uh, and you can look up for it. On eBay it's pretty cheap I mean, there's a whole bunch of them out there but make sure that if you get the one it does uh, this one seems to be working the best if you want to get one that actually runs to where it's like 70 or 60 or 70 degrees before it shuts down you can do that too that's not a problem alrighty uh, if you need any information uh, please feel free to give me any kind of emails 
and uh, we're going to have all kind of other videos coming up that will explain more of this. Alright, thanks for watching.